moment of inertia we'll take an object which is going to rotate about an axis x o x dash in the object la n number of particles irukum i'll take only three particles let that be having p1 and p2 p3 which are at a distance of r1 r2 and r3 let it make an let it move rotate with an angular velocity omega so now we will talk about rotational kinetic energy and moment of inertia of a rigid body <coughs> let the kinetic energy of the first body kinetic energy formula is kinetic energy is equal to half mv square than V into the nama, linear velocity. Always remember in rotational motion, linear velocity change ago, but angular velocity common arco. Yang linear velocity varo, rotational motion at the mode, weak by the R omega podo. Up a weak by the R omega podama. So kinetic energy of the fast particle part. For the fast particle, I am going to say how will be this kinetic energy. It is given by half m1 v1 square. But we know that by formula v is equal to r omega. Appa v1 na r1 but omega 1 is not the omega constant thane. so we will write v1 badala r1 omega pota. it will become m1 r1 omega Appa v1 square thane. Appa r1 square omega square so this is for the first particle similarly for the second particle I can write this kinetic energy is equal to half m2 r2 square omega square that is third particle pota. Kinetic energy is equal to half m3 r3 square omega square. This is for the individual particles we are writing. The kinetic energy of the whole object and the whole body the total kinetic energy is given by the sum of all the individual kinetic energies. Now, what is common? Half common? Omega square is common. You take it out. The remaining bracket is equal half omega square. What is the remaining? M1 R1 square plus M2 R2 square. See, R we have taken only three particles. But what happens if it contains n number of particles? Now here, if it is having n number of particles, I can write this as Mn Rn square. The bracket cooler add the product of the mass and the square of the distance. So summation is the sigma sigma i equal to 1 to n m i r i square m i r i square but we know that already padam pato translatory motion every coefficient of inertia wo inge rotational motion la here the badala enna solo moment of inertia moment of inertia formula is equal to m r square paathirukku this is of the form m r square so i can write this as kinetic energy is equal to a half omega square i i into the moment of inertia and the sigma and this gives you nothing but you are moment of inertia and just you compare with this translatory motion translatory motion number kinetic energy form in all the half mb square than all the home yeah so half number and m into the mass mass of the line in america i irka already we have seen that how mass in translatory motion you know because mass determines the inertia of an object Mass kammi yaanda, inertia yaun kammi yaan. Translatory motion la mass eppidi yo, inertia yaun defend, inertia yaun defend pannu dho. Adhe maari, in the high end radda, inga, in rotational motion la, moment of inertia, it is given by the product of mass and the square of the distance. In the compare pannu yaun padi, translatory motion la eppidi mass ho, adhe maari inga, yedha sollo, moment of inertia yaun sollo pparo. Anga V into the linear velocity, omega into the angular velocity. Now here, if the object is going to rotate with the angular velocity of 1 radian per second. 1 radian per second, order, with this angular velocity, if it is going to rotate, the omega in item, 1 item. So this kinetic energy is equal to half i item. So I can also write this as i is equal to 2 in this side, you can write now. Twice the kinetic energy. So this moment of inertia is nothing but twice its kinetic energy. So we have seen what will be the relation between this kinetic energy and the moment of inertia.